Right, hello again, welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, the classic racing season is uh, just only a week away, so we thought we'd have a quick look at some of these winter bike projects. And today we're going to start with this uh, big brute here. This is a 1974 580 Les Calderwood CCM. This Joe Maxwell CCM uh, from 1974 had his first outing at the Robbie Allen Memorial in 2014. And it's a uh, three times winner of the best four stroke in Scotland, um, three years running. So uh, we've had a few little modifications through the winter and uh, let's have a closer look at the motorcycle. Bolted on to the classic 35mm Marashaki forks are a set of specially machined Maiko hubs. The engine is a 90 by 90 stroke at 572.63 cc's and uh, it's a new NEB 3 speed gearbox, new clutch and new crankshaft. The fuel system is supplied by a 34mm McCuny carb with a 250 main jet and the 35mm pilot jet. So it's a rock shocks uh, dialed into my weight and they've been uh, shimmed uh, for rebound damping and it's connected to a chrome molloy frame swing arm system by TJ Plating. The brake system is also Maiko machined and fitted with a 58 tooth rear sprocket uh, running on Dunlop 100 by 100 tires. The uh, graphics are supplied by MXM of Johnston. Uh, the guy to see is Alan Reed. These are high quality hard wearing graphics and stand the test of time. The seat cover seat. is designed uh, from the original 1974 spec and the cover uh, was also supplied by Alan Reed of MXM Graphics. Uh, the Renthal bars are a uh, Giro style Renth Renthal bars and they are uh, complemented with uh, Magura levers and Venhill throttle and all the cables are Venhill supplied. The exhaust is a two-piece handmade special by Joe Maxwell and uh, the ignition is a interspan ignition with a runtime of 5000 RPM is 
four and a half to five hours on full charge. The interspan ignition um, is charged overnight before the meeting and uh, has a run time of five hours. Uh, sometimes uh, during a race uh, event we, we would put it on charge for a short period of time and during the lunch interval. Uh, the system works well and it's running on NGK BR8ES spark plugs. The barrel's a defend uh, BSA B50 SS Street Scrambler uh, from 1974 and the casings have all been hand moulded uh, by Joe in silica sand. We're running on uh, Castrol R and uh, its capacity of this frame is 2.6 litres and there's its own integral pump and filter system and the oil stored inside the frame. The controls are all Van Hill cables and a Van Hill gasser throttle. The carburetor 34mm uh, McCune is supplied by a twin air system. The rear hub is manufactured uh, by Joe Maxwell and machined Mako hubs similar to the front. This part of the frame is actually a reusable uh, stainless steel filter for the oil system. After each event uh, we remove the uh, stainless steel filter, uh, gauze filter, and we flush it out and actually use an airline just to blow any, any uh, bad little impediments that build up there and replace the castrol oil with uh, 2.6 litres. This is how you switch uh, the interspan ignition on and off during the race meeting. This little billeted uh, aluminium fitting uh, is for the original Marashoki forks uh, as they didn't have a forged uh, fitting for the, the brake, front brake rod. So Joe made that, hand made that and it works great. The decompression system is designed to drop the 10.1 uh, compression engine and uh, make it easy to start and it just lifts a little valve on the top of the head. Works perfectly and this machine is not high compression. We don't run it on methanol, uh, it's run on Shell VMAX. Uh, sometimes we I run it on a 50% uh, American racing oil mix but very seldom. Uh, it's not necessary.
So the bike had its uh, inception at the Robbie Allen uh, Memorial 2014 and uh, its first win came at Kirkness in the Kingdom of Fife uh, late that year. The following season I uh, managed uh, luckily to win the over 300 class in this machine and the best over 50 rider. Um, the following three years it's been the best four stroke over 300 class. So it's been an excellent bike and very reliable and I've had no issues. Uh, superbly built by Joe Maxwell and uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to race. I would recommend it to anybody if they're interested in four stroke racing to try out a CCM with the BSA B50 engine. Well that's it, uh, my 1974 CCM. It's been a pleasure having uh, Chris Montagna uh, film and take some photographs. If you want to follow my exploits uh, in 2018, uh, make sure you subscribe to Monty's YouTube channel and uh, you can see all the action there from the Scottish Classic racing throughout the year. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, that quick look at uh, Les Calderwood's 1974 uh, 580 CCM. Uh, don't forget on my YouTube channel throughout the year there will be more classic uh, dirt bikes to have a look at so uh, we're all looking forward to seeing this big baby in action next weekend at Finhaven and Forfast so uh, thanks for taking the time to tune into my YouTube channel and uh, we'll see you soon.